The following video contains occasional strong language and conversations with adult themes, so please turn off now if you don't like that kind of thing, or if kids are in earshot. Basically, viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, Guy from Midwinter Minis here. Uh, this is going to be a slightly different video for you today. Uh, we have just come back from Warhammer Fest. I am joined by, obviously, Hattie and a fantastic new friend, Maverick, Maverick's Paint. Um, we've just come back from Warhammer Fest. We were there for all three days. We are particularly tired. Um, Mav is ill. He picked up Flu Fest, Fest mm. Flu. Flu Fest. And we are just going to kind of freeball it. Mav has brought some Canadian snacks. We have gifted some uh, British snacks. And we're just going to have a little chat about our experience. Uh, just a chat in general while eating snacks. We thought that would be a nice, relaxed collaborative effort because um, we're not really in a fit shape to create a normal video and Mav has to leave tomorrow. So this is as good as it gets everyone. So buckle in, be prepared for some background noise because we're on a main street here and there's things going by and deliveries being made. Please excuse the noise but I hope this is entertaining and relaxing for you nonetheless. Um, let's begin. Would you like to introduce yourself? You could call it the Q flu. The Q flu, oh. Q flu twenty three. Yeah. Yes, all the diseases you pick up sitting in queue for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we begin by uh, just having a drink? Let's let Mav experience the glory that is Iron Brew, mm -hmm. a Scottish delicacy. Mm. Is it orange say. flavor? Yeah, it's not. No, uh... no. <laughs> is it iron <laughs> flavor? No. Uh, no, I say rust. Rust. <laughs> It's uh, brewed from flavored. girders. What's that? <laughs> Is that a people or a thing? All of the actual Scottish people in the audience are like, <laughs> he knows. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Yeah, I know you're the guest, Matt, but I'm pouring yours last because okay. um, I hate you. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I love you. iron brew. Do you really? I love it. Okay. Couldn't tell you what it tastes like or what it is, but I love it. Some sparkly head on that. Okay. So this is Whoa. like soda pop, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This isn't a fitness product or anything like that. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Quite no. the opposite. It used to be one of the last bastions of like full sugared drinks in the UK. Oh and really? Then, yeah, and then it, they, you know, they did the whole <coughs> mixing in sweeteners and no stuff more instead. Sweet. I don't yeah. think we all need a full pint. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of snacks to get through. <laughs> You'll need these to chase everything down. That's fine. The lid's gone on the floor. We don't need it. We're gonna finish it off. Actually. We... Have a little cheers. Cheers, yeah. everyone. Clink. We survived Warhammer Fest 2023. Clink. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know if I have. <laughs> yeah. I've got a couple of days, maybe. <laughs> Bottoms up, baby. Uh, how do you feel about that? I don't know, even know how to describe it. I know, yeah. right? It's quite a unique taste. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. sweet. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of, like, pink cream soda, but none of the cream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like bubblegum flavor, sweet, right? right? Mm. Yeah, it's like sugar water. <laughs> yeah, sugar water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like the less sweet version of what it used to be. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh it used God. to be intense. It used to be like thick in your mouth. Yes. Which <laughs> is so pure said, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, right, cheers. No whole I, hammers. <laughs> I will edit out um, as best I can any swearing or anything. Uh, we're all feeling tired. Things might slip out. Mm. Topics of conversation may be on the verge of being adult, um, and there are a lot of there are a lot of like jokes we've shared over the past couple of days, and I want you to have like a fly on the wall experience of you being here. So I'll leave as much as I can in. If anything's crazy offensive, I'll take it out. But we're we're not that offensive. I've been addicted to swearing like a British person too, yeah. since I got Yeah, 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 literally. I can't stop. Since you said that. Yeah, fucking rank. <laughs> I'm gonna gut you like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too addicting. Yeah, it is pretty good. Um, shall we open a snack and then let's, yes. have a, let's share some tales of... Shall we start with savouries? Yeah. And then go for pudding after. Uh, let's well, go I for savoury Canadian. Yes, yes. Try a Canadian one. This is a classic. This is probably like one of the most popular chips in Canada, what but it's called? also everyone old knows about Dutch it. ketchup. Right, let's open it up. From the bottom. Yeah, because no. then you get all the flavour at the bottom, at the top. You know what I mean. Go on, love. 
<laughs> you want to grab one first? No, no, I've had millions. Yeah, no, but you Guy opens every oh, bag no. from the bottom and it's very upsetting. Why wouldn't you open all the bags from the bottom? Because it's nasty. <coughs> so I'm going to get two. Okay. Wow, that's so red. I can already that's tell crazy. these are going to be great. Whoop, bonk. Mmm, smells good. Um, they're really similar to Walker's tomato ketchup flavor when that was a thing. I don't oh, think I ever that? had those. Mm. Oh, really? I didn't realize if that was yeah. a thing. They're going it was to be a short lived It was a short lived thing, but they're very, I never very had similar. Them. It's almost you? like um, the Worcestershire sauce ones, but more tomato y. Yeah, yeah. They're a little sour, mm. right? Like almost like salt. I and like them. Kind of. I could eat a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really nice. In fact, I'm going to have another one. <laughs> mm hmm. For yeah, those wondering, very nice. I'm drinking a Lem sip right now. It's trying to heal me, or at least buy me a little bit of time <laughs> to see my wife one last time. <laughs> the Q flu strikes again. Mm. Oh, I'm going to smash that iron brew so quick. I love Tasty. it. Yes. Are we Should gonna we do go ratings ahead. or no? Ratings, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. oh, they're like a solid seven. I yeah, think really oh, nice. I'd go like eight Ooh. or nine. I love them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Um, How do you feel about Iron Brew now you had it? I'd say Iron Brew. Would I you almost... ever choose it out of, you know, out of options? If it's surprisingly, really it's better than I thought it would be. Mm. But I would say I almost wish it had kind of a distinguishable flavor. Okay. So I'd give yeah. it. I so give it a you could six. tell. Okay. So you could tell people what yeah. it was, right? Yeah. Not just sweet juice. Or just yeah. like I, yeah. I enjoy yeah. flavor. <laughs> like I kind of wanted it to be cream soda. Mm. You know. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Should we do a? Um, maybe we'll do a. A Sweetums. A British savory item, and then let's chat about Warhammer Fest a little bit. Sure. Should we go straight for a Monster Munch? Monster Munch, baby. Let's go, go hard or go home. <laughs> so what is this? Pickled onion, Monster Munch. Pickle We're, what? Pick, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I say onion in a weird way. Onion. 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 It's got three syllables. Onion. It has two syllables. Onion. Let me know in the comments onion. if you're, in, if you're an <laughs> onion or an onion. No like, one is an onion. Are you saying onion? Onion. Yeah. <sighs> Nobody says that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank no. you. <laughs> Just trying to start your own language. This is, this is brutal. Right. Monster Guy Munch dish. Giants. So Monster Munch are traditionally a bit smaller than this. Mm -hmm. They're These normally about big. this big. Um, this is pickled onion flavor. Okay. But they're supposed to look like monsters' hands. Gotcha. Okay. A well, bit. someone said they were supposed to look like actual monsters with arms and legs, but oh. I feel like they're paws rather yeah. than bodies. Um, if you want to eat in the traditional way that school kids do, you put your fingers through the thing and then... Ah. Or I, what I do is eat the little <laughs> toes off first and then eat the, like, the, the paw pad. Mm. Anyway, let's, see. Just let's go. Here we go. Okay, bottoms up. That's good. Onion-y. Yeah. Harsh. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said it perfectly normally. Onion-y. Onion. <laughs> How do you feel? So it reminds me of like a Cheeto. Yeah, texture-wise. Yeah. Like texture, but kind of like a dill. Just like a dill pickle chip. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I like it. I'm going to say, in recent years, they've like lessened the vinegar punch that you used to get from it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, if you, you, you used to eat a packet of Monster Munch in your mouth and be bleeding. Yeah, yeah, like back in the day. <laughs> you know you know that like the pain feeling you get when yeah. something's so intense that your saliva glands at the side of your mouth are like, bam, 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 yeah, it's like almost hurts your mouth. They used to do that real quick. Oh, one for you. One, thank you. Just one. I'm still working through this one. <clears throat> okay, let's talk fast. <laughs> this is the With most gro gross podcast in the world, yeah. <laughs> oh, what Let's rating? Talk. What would you rate the Monster Munch? Oh, yeah. Let's, mm. let's I'd probably eat that whole bag. Yeah, mm. for sure. They're, they're mm. quite Moorish. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Seven or eight. Pretty good. good. I'd buy them. Mm. I love a Monster Munch. Warhammer Fest. Warhammer, Warhammer Fest. Fest. Should we go like chronologically of like how your trip has gone so far? Yeah, maybe yeah. that might make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who spoke to who first? And as far as me coming out to Warhammer Fest, I don't even know how it started. You messaged me a long time ago saying like, "Hey man, I really love your videos. Uh, I've started painting. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you like them?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, amazing, spectacular." 
And Did then, I? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like two years ago, was, or a year and a half ago. I was probably fangirling very hard. That's okay. <laughs> I was yeah, probably yeah, very yeah. nervous. <laughs> Hi, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Notice then, me. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, I, I, I think separately from that then, I saw some of your videos that you were putting out, like your shorts, and I messaged you, and I was like, whoa, like, this is astounding. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. <laughs> and then I'd realized I'd messaged, we'd messaged before, and it was you who'd said you'd start painting a year and a half ago, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, this guy's insanely good. <laughs> Villain arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming for you, guy. <laughs> um, so... I think we just started messaging each other on the regular from there, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. And then you had a couple of questions. You asked me a couple of questions about because your stuff is more short form. And my stuff is obviously more long form. Well, yeah, actually, like when I when I first started painting, it was Guy's video that I watched first. It was like the Grimdark Ultramarine video. And that got me. That was like my first introduction to YouTube videos for Warhammer, which was surprising. I didn't think that there would be a community for it. Mm. I barely even knew about Warhammer when I started. And then, yeah, we so you didn't play it when you were a kid or anything? No. No. Wow. no. Well, I mean, I knew about it, but I could never afford it. Mm. So I'd be like walking in the mall and I'd always stop at the display cases and I'd stand there for like a half hour. But as far as actually playing it, no, no, mm. I never got a chance. But now that I'm an adult, it feels like I got like a second chance at it, mm -hmm. which is nice. But yeah, and then we got talking, and I asked you uh, nervously. I asked you for advice, and you're like, "Yeah, can we do a call right now? Video call? Going to call you?" And then my phone starts ringing. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just try to like straighten up my hair. <laughs> oh god! And then yeah, I got lots of advice from you, and then. That was kind of at the start of me taking the plunge into YouTube and kind of, you know, getting my feet wet with that. Mm. And I'd say I'm still quite new to it all, but it's pretty surreal being here right now when two years ago I was sitting on my own couch watching your video with my wife, like, <laughs> trying to recreate the Ultramarine there, like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I saw you posted about the great time you had at Adepticon. Oh, and so I, good. Yeah, so and I good. was like, uh, I'd, I knew that I'd already booked an Airbnb that had a few rooms uh, for like the Midwinter Minis team to go up to Warhammer Fest. So I was like, I mean, we've got space for someone else. Uh, and I was like, Matt, do you, are you like interested in, are you planning to come to Warhammer Fest? Because we've got room for you. And uh, you were like, no, no, I couldn't, I couldn't. And I was like, I had to play it really cool. I said, like, I've got a lot of better things to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ask Squidmar or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> I got a bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you can stay, you know, like, just stay with me while you're here. There's, like, it won't cost you anything, really. You know, you just stay with me while you're here. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then stay at the Airbnb and, you know, we'll send you on home. Yeah, after that call, I, I asked my wife, I was like, should I do it? She's like, well, yeah, of course. And I was like, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> She's yeah. like, I don't care. <laughs> you still have to go. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I fast forward two weeks and you're like yeah. looking Surprise. at me in my dressing gown cooking you a <laughs> yeah. full English breakfast. <laughs> you want baked beans with your breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> yes, guy. <laughs> yes, yes, darling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Picking you up from the station yeah. with my kids. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's been wild, though. It's been really exciting. It's a lot of fun. Nice. And you are a normal human being, just after a, all. A, a, just a person. Yeah, I'm just a regular <laughs> just person. Just a bloke. Yes. Quite oh, boring. Warhammer Fest. Mm. We drove up. Mm. We got there. Yes. Day one was wild. Yeah. It was quite a long drive. Yeah. Yeah, it was. To preface, I'd only spoken to you over the phone. I didn't really... I, I, like, I'd never met you, obviously. And, like, when you video chat someone, you don't know... Long story short, you don't know how tall they are. Okay. <laughs> Mav is 6'5". 6'6", 6'5". You're a tall man. Yeah. Like, I'm a tall man, but you're taller. Yeah. And <laughs> when I picked you up as well, I was like, I was telling my kids, we're going to pick up Maverick, Maverick. And they're like, yeah, Maverick, excited. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and when we picked you up at the station, they just hid behind me like, who is this giant? Boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then I suddenly realized, because I have an electric car, to get to Manchester, we'd have to like charge up at least once, and it would like take time. So Hattie was going to drive us up in her car. She has a Fiesta, which is you yeah, know, just a little Fiesta. which is always a party. Quite <laughs> quite a small car if you're not familiar. Yeah. And um, 
Yeah, I, I was, in my mind, I was like, cool, it's going to be like Hattie driving, me in the front, Mav in the back, loads of space. And then I saw you, and you were obviously a lot taller than me, and I was like, <laughs> oh, it's going to be like baby guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Crunched up. Yeah. And all your knees were just touching everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was fun, uh, like a four-hour drive. I mean, plus our Airbnb cancelled. We didn't mention that. Yes. That sucked. That's another fun thing. So uh, the night before we left... We were at my friend Steve's house, um, just grabbing a couple of bits and uh, getting a, a case for us to take our models up, because he has lots of things like that, because he's a very versatile and useful human, unlike me. Uh, and it's true. <laughs> it's true. And you were basically dead on your feet. You were asleep. <laughs> I was falling asleep in mm. Steve's chair with, yeah. a, with a plate of curry on my lap, just, <laughs> just slide off onto his rug. Like, Hi, everyone. <laughs> and, you don't know who I am, but <laughs> good night. <laughs> and uh, I got like a message on Airbnb thinking like, oh, it's going to be the guy telling us how to check in. And, you know, this is the day before we travel up. And he was saying, oh, I have to cancel. No, he didn't even say that. He said, I can't do it. You'll have to cancel. He said, it, it, this place is unavailable. <laughs> this place is unavailable. You'll have to cancel. And I was like, that's... Hey, that's not how Airbnb works, man. You have to cancel and I get the refund. Uh, and also, how the hell am I going to find anywhere at you know, no notice? Um, so we had to book some hotel rooms. <laughs> like, great expense. But hey, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so that was a fun start to Warhammer Fest for us. That felt like a scam. It did feel like a, a little bit like I a scam. I think it yeah. probably was because mm. he said the Airbnb are cracking down. They are though. They're yeah. only cracking down on scammers, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. So Sorry, he, guys, he essentially admitted that he was trying to scam us. So that takes us to the travelling up Warhammer Fest day. I think we should open yes. a new snack. Can, yeah. I, can I tell you an Airbnb story? Please. Sure. <laughs> so my wife and our family, we went to uh, an Airbnb just countryside by a lake summer vacation right mm -hmm. lovely the house itself was pretty normal like nothing too extravagant it wasn't like a terribly expensive airbnb just cozy right but when you go to the washroom the washroom had this huge glass wall yes. shower that you could fit 10 people in <laughs> wow and a huge jacuzzi tub next to it mm. all of these extravagant <laughs> bathroom items and then a wall mounted mirror that you couldn't get to the other side of, oh. but there was a door to the garage, which was on the exact opposite side of the wall. And I, I tried so hard, I turned the light off and I was trying to like look up to the mirror to see if I could see something through. I couldn't, but it was so, <coughs> it was <laughs> unsettling. And they, yeah. say, they think, say that- I think uh, we all know what happens in there. Yeah, and they said that the one place that was off limits for the tenant was the garage, and there was oh. like three locks on it too. Okay. So I'm, I'm certain there's, there's a video online of me just scrubbing my ass. It's a nice place. <laughs> you mean not just on your OnlyFans, right? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's premiere content. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's open some ruffles. It's, yeah, it's Canada time, right? Ruffles. Yeah, I feel too. like ruffles are elsewhere, right? But I've never had a cheese one. Is that cheese? What does that no, say? No, these on are it? all dressed. Okay, all they're made dressed. by. Them. Okay, I, I I saw SSE and I was like cheese. They're made by Frito Lay, so it's Lay's, right? So they're oh, like the. It's okay. They're made by Frito Lay, which is Lay's. So that's like Walkers in the UK. But we've never had the flavor. All. What is that? All dressed. What does that mean? All dressed is kind of. A bit of everything. Not it's not a cheese flavor though. You'll f I'm just bad at reading. Gonna grab a handful. It's Come kind on. of it's kind of like a iron iron what is iron it called again? Brew. Iron brew? Yeah. Where just you won't really know how to describe flavor. it. Miscellaneous flavor, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna grab two. There's definitely like a vinegar. Oh, I got like three. They smell very peculiar. They almost smell like the um like paprika crisps that we get here. Yeah. I saw those. You mean paprika? Oh my yeah. god. Paprika. Yeah. They are similar. Yeah? They are quite similar. Similar. Maybe they are. They're just renamed. Yeah. Um, They're like a slightly softer version, yeah. but more vinegary, almost. It's also worth noting that I did get to try black pudding. Uh, yeah. I tried Greg's. Mm -hmm. Greg's was recommended to me not just by you. Like a number of people at Warhammer Fest were like, have you had Greg's yet? Mm. <laughs> Not even sure what that is. But I did see the guy wearing a Greg's jacket 
in the queue as well. Yeah. So I was like, well, I guess I have to. If <laughs> Greg himself is the one to go. <laughs> Who is this guy? Greg has arrived. <laughs> um, yeah. It is an institution. We have some Gregs on the table it's as well. That's all right. But, yeah. Um, yeah. We already ate all the sausage rolls and the <laughs> yucky, greasy pizza. What would you... Um, so what would be giving these out of ten? Uh, I'd say like six. a five. They're okay. I would ne- I'd probably never choose the flavour, but they're fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd Too choose vinegar? them if I was feeling a Too bit... Too much vinegar? Fancy. Not flavoury enough. Mm. I like really, like, in your Punchy. face. Oh, no, so ketchup I don't... ketchup was good, though. Mm, I yeah, don't right. like yeah, ones yeah, that perfect. feel like my mouth is going to hurt after I eat them. No. Yeah, like, I'm not I can a... have Monster Munch, but only a few Monster Munch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monster Munch is like razor blades. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is refreshing, though. I know, right? It's, good, it isn't it? it's almost like because it has no flavor, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you can't get tired of it. I love what it. What did I rank it? Gulp it down. I think you gave it like a six. It's now a seven. Yeah, <laughs> by the end of the podcast, it's going to yes. be a nine. Can we get like Welcome. a ding, 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 ding <laughs> at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> A new sponsor, Iron Brew. <laughs> oh, um, I don't, I don't. We wouldn't say no. Say no, I would say absolutely, please, yes. Okay, give um, me all of it in keto. my veins. <laughs> my God. Um, right, let's open up some skips. Let's try because... a skip. I think this is our last crisp on the table. Oh, nope. these are also crisps. Okay. I got Next you. British snack is going to be skips. You know what these are, guys, right? Basically, little prawn puffs. That, oh, wait a second! You're allergic to <laughs> no, shellfish. No, no, it's prawn cocktail. It's prawn cocktail flavor. Prawn cocktail flavor. There's no. May contain milk, soy, gluten. There's no shellfish in this. There's no actual prawn. Well, why do you think there were actual prawn in prawn cocktail? Because it's crazy. called prawn cocktail. It's no. There's no. no I meant guy. He's no, had these wait, before. Just let me Google. No, this product is not shellfish free as it lists one ingredient that contains shellfish. Eh? I feel like I dodged the bullet too, though. I didn't really want to do try you wanna, it. Do you want to have a sniff? I'll have a sniff. Have a sniff so yeah, you're yeah. missing out on. Let's see. I think they'd be fine, but I don't want to accidentally kill you. Tomato y, right? No. Tomato y vinegar. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of shellfish, though, too. I mean, I'm going to have some. Yeah, I'll have a few. <laughs> <laughs> I love skips. And they melt in your mouth, they're amazing. I'd say they're a solid seven. Yeah. Just if I'm going to throw them Just to rub it in, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the only ten Mm. on the table, oddly. (laughs) (laughs) I actually legitimately uh, bought some prawns for you to stay because I was was going to make you like a little curry, but... Well, I I felt like such a douche because you asked me to. You're like, oh, while you're staying here, do you have any allergies? And I thought, I do, but, you know, when you tell someone you have an allergy to shellfish, it's like you're suggesting... That they're gonna cook you like yeah. lobster. Yeah, yeah, no lobster. <laughs> so what, yeah. Whatever the equivalent would be. And then, so I told him that, and he kind of laughed at it. And sure enough, you go out and buy them. Yeah. God. I wanted to treat you right, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fancy yeah, on you. you did. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I failed. I got your lamb instead, though. You're gonna have a curry tonight. Is that okay? I'm so excited Gosh. for a hot curry. It's already tonight. cooking. It's in the slow cooker. It's gonna be great. Ugh. Yeah. So day one, Warhammer Fest. Um, we rocked up a little bit late because we started driving up in the morning uh, and so I think we got there Half around 12, 1. yeah like 12 yeah yeah people lined up quite early for that one though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah we showed up like five six hours after mm-hmm. you yeah. know the diehards and I hadn't really because I, I I like I don't really like spoiling uh, things for myself on social media so I wasn't really looking at my phone very much. Um, and I wasn't paying attention to what people were saying about Warhammer Fest, who were there. So we kind of turned up with no preconceptions at all. And actually, like, I've never been to Warhammer Fest before. I had tickets for the one in 2019, but, uh, it, like, two weeks before that, my dad died. And I was like, I don't really feel, like, uh, up to doing this now. Yeah. This was the first one that I was like, wow, and obviously quite looking forward to it. That's how I was feeling. How are you feeling? Yeah, I kind of, well, I went to Adepticon, like, the few months before, so I was kind of putting it on that, that, uh, tier, I guess, of, like, excitement, and, and, uh, I wasn't really expecting much because I was mostly going because I get to go with Guy. (laughs) I was, I was living my dream. I told him, like, oh, yeah, no, this will be great for the channel. (laughs) I'm just going to fill, fill out my little, uh, fantasy here. But I was, I was quite surprised that I had people you know, in UK coming up to me 
knowing who I was, like, you know, a North American content creator and coming up to me and asking me for photos when Guy is standing right next to me. That was shocking. I was like, are you fucking lost? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> that was very surprising, but also incredibly humbling. Like, yeah. I didn't... It was hard to, to take at first, and that was kind of day one. Like, mm. there, it didn't really slow down, especially no. for you. You couldn't walk, like, yeah. more than five feet. I wasn't, re- I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. I yeah. don't know what I was expecting, but... Uh, yeah, I felt like as soon as I went through the door, uh, before I went through the door, it was even when we were at the hotel, um, and then like walking down the street and going into Warhammer Fest. Uh, yeah, I think I was I, I like literally walked nowhere. I was sort of standing in the main hall, and between about half twelve and five six was it? Yeah, past yeah. five. I was just speaking to people the whole time. Uh, I like didn't get food or anything. I was just no. sell drink. I was like standing there talking to people. Uh, I mean, yeah. like I, I worked in retail for like ten, twelve years. So standing up talking to people all day, every day, is fine for me. Like that's, that's what I'm used to historically. So uh, it's just usually I'm I'm bothering people, <laughs> like not bothering, but like I'm trying to get people to buy things, and people were. Just coming up to me voluntarily and talking to me, and uh, yeah, I had a big imposter syndrome because I was like, "Why do these people even know or care who I am?" But some people, like, if we're just talking about day one, some people were saying some exceptionally nice things to me, which was very overwhelming. Day one was the best day, in my opinion. Yeah, I was... think because I, I'd written it off that we weren't gonna see any of the things there. Yeah, properly, it was gonna be like seeing just get, get a scope because we were there for the three days right so we're scoping it out seeing what was happening we'd already missed the big 40k announcement because that happened at 9 a.m yeah. <laughs> we were like in yeah. the car with no signal so yeah well day one day one went by quick because we just we got there we entered our golden demon entries and then we pretty much talked to people for the remainder of the day mm. and then it was just over it was done yes. we didn't even get to check out like any of the we didn't even get to stand in a queue no. <laughs> and experience the full. No, we weren't part of Queue Hammer. <laughs> no. Yeah, Queue Fest. We were yeah. not Queue Festing. Yeah. How did you feel about it? About day one. Mm. Uh, I was a little bit salty. Um, Why? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we forgot about Golden Demon. Okay. So uh, I was taking my Oogie Boogie Gret and Clean one up just to show around anyway because some people had said that they really wanted to see him uh, and you two and our lovely friend Louise um, convinced me to enter him into Golden Demon um, because Louise had an extra ticket so I said sure I'll give it a go he probably won't win anything but it'll be fun to see him in the cabinet I hand him over and they say yeah I think we all know this is going to get disqualified I was like... For context, it's a Games okay. Workshop model entirely uh, modified with middle part. Yeah. So, on paper, you he, know... He just looks a little bit like a Disney character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which felt like a bit of a shame for you. Yeah, and I didn't even get to see him in the cabinet. He never even made it to the cabinets. So he just went straight to the back room and he, that's where he stayed. Um, and then a couple of hours later, I went to look for him and ended up back around the other side and they were just like... No. So <laughs> then I had to go and pick him up. Uh, but then I got to take him around with me and show him off to people and be like, look at my child. Uh, and that was infinitely more satisfying. So yeah. in a way, I'm kind of glad, but also a little bit salty that I never even got to see yeah. my mini in the cabinet. I know? think it was really nice for people to see it up close because yeah. it's a really impressive model. And, you know. and I got to show off his... Butt cheeks His to tight people. Ass. Yeah. His absolute thunderous of a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of cool that you got to see people's reactions to your model. Yeah. Because like for Guy and I, we just threw ours in the case. And mm. Yeah, that was nice. Rather than being like, oh, you could just queue for like two or three hours, and then you might be able to see him. Just you know? pop into the queue. Yeah. Pop into the queue. Be very British. Yeah. I entered my um, my Mozrog scrag bird that I painted up in about three days before the event. <laughs> Very intense days, but uh, with absolutely no expectation of winning anything, because I've seen Golden Demon before, and I've seen the quality of the entries, and particularly the winners, so I was really not expecting anything at all. Um, but it did get put in the cabinets, which was amazing. I did notice, though, that 
in the cabinets uh, were another like nine Mosrog Scrag Bad models. It was a popular least, one this year. At least, and I was like, mine's not even the best Mosrog, so uh, I'm not I'm not winning anything. Um, and that was, you know, but I did. I had a peek in the cabinets, but then I was literally talking to people the whole day, so that that was kind of my day one uh, fest. Yeah, yeah. It was a really good day, though. Like hmm. I was. I came away from it feeling good. Yeah, yeah, I was blown away by how many people were. Like coming up to me as well as Guy and like were actively looking to talk to me and like take pictures of me. It was absolutely crazy. It was mm. so good. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. super nice. And like I've said it before and I'm sure I'll say it again, but it's nice to be able to go out and see the real humans behind all these like numbers and like usernames that we see because it's hard to visualize when you just see all these numbers and letters floating around like that every single one of them is a an entirely different human being you know mm -hmm. it's very yeah. nice to be able to actually and see them. obviously what we're saying here is not that warhammer fest was fantastic that day because of these things it, that was our experience of it and yeah. obviously that is not a normal experience for a normal person going yeah. to that event that yeah. day we were like very very uh, uh lucky uh or like privileged or whatever to have that experience and have people come up to us and, and talk to us and, yeah well, and we, we weren't spending do. hours in the queues we had something to do essentially constantly. yeah, yeah. Constantly. Mm. we Whereas, weren't just standing around waiting to yeah. like buy something from the shop yeah, that I, yeah, that was the first thing I asked, wasn't it? Because we came in and, and kind of where you uh, sort of funneled into the building, uh, there was this massive queue forming, and uh, I was like, "What is this? What is this a queue for? Is this the queue for, um, you know, is this like registration to Golden Demon?" And I was, and they were like, "No, no, 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 that's just here, and that's a queue of like five people." And I was like, "What is this a queue for?" And they're like, "I think it's a queue for the shop." Like a two-hour wait. Yeah, to go to the shop to get stuff that wasn't exclusive. Was no. Well, also they, uh, a lot of people didn't know how much money they were spending, but and by the time they got to the end of the queue, it was a surprise. Yeah, because there weren't there weren't price labels no. on things. Ah. So yeah, I tried. Well, that was I wanted to some get, problems. I really wanted to get a T-shirt because you know I I don't want to buy models and then have to fly home when I can just buy them at home, right? Mm -hmm. But I wanted to get a T-shirt at least as like a memory or like a keepsake. But uh, somebody ran and went to the shop to get one for themselves in the first like morning, and they said they sold out in the first twenty minutes. Yeah, they Which didn't have them. Should never have happened. Like, That's what? so silly. <laughs> How many did you bring? Like ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Shall so we try another snack? Yes. Yeah, so have we got anything savory left? Hickory Whatever. sticks. Hickory sticks. Hickory Hostess. Sticks Hickory what does sticks. That mean? Original. These are probably different than most of the chips that you'll eat. I've got a feeling shape. they're going to they be like... they taste like wood? I've got a feeling they're going to be like um, chip sticks. You know, the What's little... That? The tiny little... They look like that. The salt and vinegar ones. Salt and vinegar chip sticks. Or whatever they're called. The wood tiny flavored. little... Have a little sniff test first. They're like pre-broken crisps. I have a lemon drop in. <laughs> you idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> have a sniff. I want to have a sniff. Oh! Punchier than I was expecting. It's not always barbecue-y. There's like similar looking things in the UK, but they're like the saddest flavour. It's just yeah, salt. Yeah, they're awful. I'll have a few. Not too many, please. That's they're like hickory. Fine, thanks. Do you like barbecue? Sure. Give some to Nessa. She's been a really good girl. She's dead asleep. Why does she have her eyes are open? <laughs> oh! They're nice, they're smoky. Mm hmm. Mm. They're real good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think this is another thing that I could eat a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Solid eight. I'm going high. Nessa, do you want some? I like how everything is bilingual <laughs> yeah, in your Come packaging here. as well. Yeah, it has to be. Flavoured potato sticks. Julien de Bonne de Yeah, good girl. You want some snacks? Oh, very gentle. Wow, they're going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give them out of ten, Nessa? Woof. Down the hatch. A woof, woof. A shake. A oh, shake good girl. You there you go. She dribbled on my finger. So, um, what did we do after the actual event, Warhammer Fest? Uh, day one. What did we do? Oh, we went oh. to... We would desperately try to find somewhere that was open for food. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, it seemed like everywhere closed at about 
eight. Then we went to crazy. Pizza Express. Yeah, Wait, we tried we go several to... places, and then finally ended up at a Pizza Express, which <laughs> which was the opposite of the name. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah, it's the first Pizza Express I've had that has been like genuinely the slowest meal in the world. Pizza Express, for those who don't know, in the UK, is pretty good pizza. Uh, and pretty good, like, Italian-style stuff. Um, and it's, like, a f- vaguely upmarket chain. And it's always pretty good. You always have a pretty good meal. That it's, like, not too crazy expensive. We had some wine. They said, it's a little bit busy tonight, guys. We're a bit understaffed. There'll be about 40-minute waits for food. And we're like, no problem at all. Let's have some drinks. Yep. An hour and 40 minutes later... <laughs> And our we dough balls haven't still haven't turned up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, when, we're like, yeah. when the waiter, uh, not even for our order, the waiter grabs an order and drops a full pizza on the ground. Immediately dropped it. And he didn't even flinch. Like, it looked yeah. like he had already died inside a half oh, hour yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just like, That man had excellent. no soul left. Mm. <laughs> um, so, that was a slightly underwhelming experience for your like, first meal out in the UK right <laughs> I mean when the food did show up it was really good yeah, it's it good, was really it's good, good stuff so, but we did sing two bottles of wine so yeah yeah that was that <laughs> oh, good oh you did <laughs> and I didn't oh. <laughs> Ness is jealous Ness has got an opinion um so that was a slightly wet end to day one wet wet and just to preface like Pizzeria Express we're not mad we're just disappointed <laughs> if you wanted to give us a discount next time we go then we wouldn't say no yeah I'll have some free dough balls <laughs> forever right should we try some things savoury do you mean sweet we've run out of savoury <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling fine let's try um, savoury we've we, not done that before should we try something else should we try this, something savoury yeah what's, what's that what's, big orange bag oh fuzzy peaches Fuzzy peaches. I can already oh, tell no. them. Are like they them. like those really? peach rings that we have here? Sorry, out of ten for those stick things, oh, I'd give them eight. like a yeah, maybe yeah, an eight. I like them yeah. a lot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Good. I'm starting to get the salty mouth there. I don't know if that's a combination of everything. Yeah. You know, I will like, say. Well, yeah. I'd give Greg's probably an eight as well. That the sausage roll. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Greg's Just regular sausage, sausage roll. Yeah. It's pure grease, but it's nice. I don't think I'd get the pizza. Like, no. I'd, I'd yeah, the pizza wasn't very good. Yeah. Maynard's fuzzy peach. Right. It just smells like those peach rings we have. Oh. Oh. You don't like them? Oh, no. Out of all of the candies in Canada, this is my favorite. <laughs> it's no. like you just mm, chomp some soap. Mm. Soap? Mm. Oh, boy. That's like grandma's soap. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, the first time you do that thing when you're a kid, when... Do you remember those, like, little bath beads... We used to get the squishy, the squishy like, things that are, like grapes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that are like grapes and like, you know. Yep. They're full of bath oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You drop them in the bath and they just dissolve. It's like when the first time you bite one of those thinking it's a sweet. <sighs> You're out of first your time. <laughs> You did it more than once. Yeah, I did it more than once. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Not a fan. Yeah, no, out I of hate ten. those. Sorry. Like, three. zero. Okay. <laughs> zero and three. Hey, get oh, lost. Zero. Three. Like three. Like, there, I mean, I imagine if you like that kind of thing. Canadians? <laughs> like, if you're right. into that. You just lost thing. your entire oh, I'm Canadian. Sorry. <laughs> I don't sorry, like. Sorry, Canadian. As far as sweets go, I only really like chocolate. I don't like. like I don't like yeah, sugary but you're sweets. Weird. I don't like hard That's sweets. That I love. I'm, most I'm sorry. Sweets. I don't really like candy either. This okay. is probably the only candy. candy that I can. Okay. Have regularly. Okay. Well, let's just put those in the other bin down here. The bin bin. No, I'm <laughs> the dog. In the loo? Yeah, well, you can take those back from the plane. <laughs> you're in your little lunchbox. <laughs> make your lunchbox. Um, let's try something else that isn't a crushing disappointment. How about... No, thanks, mate. But let's, right, let's return the <laughs> flavour. <laughs> I'll stick to me wheat germ, thank you yeah, very speaking much. Of, spe- speaking of disappointments, but, how about some licorice all sorts? Yeah, let's return the favour. Give <laughs> Mav some licorice all sorts. You want to hate licorice? yourself... Licorice. Yeah. I say licorice. 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 I say licorice as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Minority. Right. What do you say? Licorice? Licorice. licorice. Oh, you just have to be different. <laughs> <laughs> So. Me? I don't say onion. <laughs> right. Onion. Why must you open every packet upside down? There's no flavouring in these to go to the bottom. Because, because 
when you open them with the top way, they have these like hole punch things oh, in what? them. You it can't makes rip it really the corner just like you did at the bottom. Pick one. Hate it. I mean, they're all Pick gross. One. They're all horrible. Enjoy. It's like some good Halloween candy right there with that colouring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you could take these back for next Halloween and really disappoint all the kids. Yeah. <laughs> They'll like put them off they're sweets proper, for life. Proper grandma sweets. Because <laughs> my grandma used to love them. You can't not have one. I am not going to have one. Thank one. you very much. No, just no. come on. That one. That's the least licorice one out of all of them. Fine. You have to have one though. You can't subject them to it and not eat one yourself. Oh. Whole thing. <laughs> All the flavour like might the be in that half. I sprinkles on the outside. <laughs> mm. So the orange one's not bad. Like it's just like icing a little bit. Mm. Okay. Ooh. But the black part is <laughs> real yucky, huh? Oh, this is just straight black part. <laughs> Great. It's not. It's not like traditional licorice. It's it's candied. Like it's very sugary, but. I mean, yeah, it's the same vibe, though. Oh. <laughs> you like aniseed, baby? It has a medicinal overtone. Yeah, I hate you know aniseed. I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. why would you eat these if they weren't very good for you? They're actually bad for you. <laughs> like, why? why? And they taste like that. Oh, the, <laughs> it's the black part that's, like, the hardest thing to eat. Win. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, old lady candy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Like, you have is. a big bowl of this, like a big glass china yeah. bowl kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, the sad, joyless sweets of old. <laughs> and they're all stuck together when you try to lick yeah. them. Do you remember that from and, the Simpsons? And to the bowl, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Simpsons, he takes one and the whole thing comes up. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and remember the noise. <laughs> so, a fan? Yeah, that's a no. Mm. Well, it's just the black stuff. Like, the orange one wasn't too bad. If we gave your I think there are three solid zero. Boys, uh, three, you're going to give that... Uh, I gave it like a four. That's generous. Yeah. I was expecting Four for less. licorice. No, oh, I but you spat, <laughs> yeah. you spat it out. You spat it out. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, to be to be clear, I would never in a million years buy those. No. Yeah. Or if they were just on the table, you wouldn't... You wouldn't I would be I would, like, I'm bored. I'm yeah. Gonna yeah. No. Even if, if I was buffet, you wouldn't incredibly them. bored and relatively hungry, I would still not eat it. So I guess <laughs> yeah. for that, it should probably get like zero. a two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you're on a desert island, <laughs> and that's the only sustenance. <laughs> it's because you shit-talked <laughs> no, it so hard that I was like, oh, should take tastes like poison by this point. Yeah. It does. Um, so, before we start talking about uh, Fest Day 2, do you want to point us in the direction of a Canadian sweet that's actually nice? Uh, <laughs> caramel. Up. Caramel. Caramel. Okay. That's a banger. That's a go. club banger right okay. there. Banger. <laughs> Here we go. I know for a fact um, Jeremy from Black Magic Craft is going to be watching this going like, he said fuzzy peaches were bad. Like, I'm never talking to this guy again. <laughs> caramel. Right. Crack off a bit. That we having two bits each. Wait, it's Cadbury. Is it Cadbury? It is. Well, then it's home food. Home food. Why is it in a... What? It is Cadbury. That's crazy. It says it on the squares. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Did we not just make something like this in the UK? I've not tried it. That's very nice. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's real good. Mm. Yeah. And it doesn't have the... Um, it doesn't have the like butyric acid, vomi overtone that mm. American chocolate does. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? American chocolate tastes like vomit. Oh. Yeah, you they know, use, like Hershey's. They use butyric acid, which is the same acid your stomach makes. Really? Mm. As part of the um, make the the like the milk processing, I think. Maybe that's strictly American, not Canadian. Hershey's has like a pukey overtone. Really? Mm. Mm. I've never noticed that. I'll have to try it. I don't eat a ton. But that of doesn't. That's real nice. Mm. Good. It yeah. It's just Cadbury. That's crazy. But it's like nicer than our regular Cadbury caramel that we get here because they changed it. They, they changed ruined it. it. It's garbage now. I'm going to give that lovely. a nine. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Strong. Yeah, I would choose that. Strong nice. nine. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. We'll take that. Nine's all round. Beautiful. Do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the um, the. I don't know if they still do it. The whisper with caramel in it mm. has that mouth. Mm. But that's I think good. that's a nicer texture. Yeah, maybe. That's Lovely. really nice. Well done. Very Perfect. nice. Your Congratulations, whole trip was worth it now. Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boot you out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the caramel. Okay, let's have a 
Right. Should we have a little bit more while we chat, or That's should we fine. not eat while we? No, no let's put it away. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna like literally That's get like digested. Just one more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one more, not, please, not, sir. Not keto today. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. <sighs> okay, so Warhammer Fest Day Two. We actually got to this one vaguely on time, right? Yeah. Um, sort of went in with everyone. Again, it was a big day of talking to people. I kind of ne- then had. I was accepting of the fact that it was a kind of a write-off to try and do anything. I was just in it for speaking to people all day. Um, I managed to escape for a while because... Um, don't say escape like you didn't enjoy it. <coughs> no, I'm, I just had a, a, like an hour or so of freedom. Because, yeah, you and Steve uh, went and got cocktails, didn't no, you? No, um, my brother Josh came down, uh, which, hello if you're watching, hi. Uh, so... I think because I had someone else with me, I could escape and people weren't coming up and talking to us. Well, they were, but not as much, mm. uh, you know. And then um, we found Steve and we did go for a little cocktail over lunch <laughs> <laughs> while you were busy. <laughs> busy. <laughs> but then you got Looking lunch with us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was nice. We had, mm, well, me, Josh and Steve had a much more chill day than the first day, which was very nice. Day two for me was, I started off with a, a beautiful English breakfast of roasted tomato, mushroom, beans. It was actually so mm. good. I actually, I probably Perfect. will eat beans. Was it better you or should. worse than beans the one are great. I you? Um, the fact that you said, um, and not just like, guy, come on, please. Yeah. yeah it was amazing. <laughs> Overall, I, I think yours may have been better. I, I think so. Even though it's like a professional restaurant, I think you... I used to cook breakfast yeah. at a boutique hotel. That yeah. was like my first job. But they had roasted tomato. Is that why you're, you're it punishing was, me? It was really I good. could have done tomatoes. We just <laughs> but you did. Yeah. That's the problem, guy. You chose to not go the extra mile. I gave mile. you beans. <laughs> so did they. <laughs> um, but I had like a great breakfast. Uh, I woke up late for the event. But I actually got to the event and... Because of, like, I guess me just kind of, with my back injury, working from home, doing kind of the hobbying style and just having uh, a small circle of friends and my wife and whatnot, I kind of get, like, overwhelmed with, like, really busy populated areas. So day one, I was kind of just, like, white-knuckling my way through. It was a lot of fun. But day two, I think I just kind of realized I needed a break. Yeah, I so, remember you came in for like five minutes and then you were like, I'm going to go for a nap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just disappeared. We, I don't think we saw you for the rest of the day until no. the evening. Evening, yeah. Yeah. Because Steve was like, I texted him several times and he's not replied. I think he's still asleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I just knew my limits and I knew that, like, I walked around for a little bit and I had a couple people come up to me and say hi. But I just, I knew that mentally I just needed a break. Yeah. And I figured there's a whole other day after this. I'll get after it tomorrow. And today I'll just yeah. kind of take care of myself. I was also having a lot of jet lag too. Yeah. <laughs> so I ended up like just tossing and turning in bed for like six hours, like napping, waking up and like, oh, I should go back. <laughs> 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 and then, yeah. And then Guy and Hattie were like knocking on my on my hotel room like at yeah, six to, six p.m. or yeah, something. Yeah, we came like, to check that you're okay. Like, are you okay? <laughs> wait, wait. We need to say the the funniest thing of the whole the whole trip. Yes. Yeah. When I came in the morning and I knocked on your door because um, when I was packing I forgot to put anything in my bag to like do my hair with, uh, and I was like, ah, uh, um, Mav, have you got some like gel or you know. Um, palmade or, or whatever the to, good stuff. to do your hair with because I don't and you're like yeah man just come and knock on my room and I was like okay cool so I wandered over oh yeah and I was oh, like I, I was like now. are you okay man like what's going on and, like there was like <laughs> not a light on in his room everything was dark and he was like literally about to have a shower I was like are you okay have you, have you got a migraine or something and he's like I think there's a blackout I was like no you, you just have to put your card in the little slot to, to get the power in the room yeah that is not a thing in Canada it's just like you just naturally have power in rooms but that was like That's a so full funny. day of hotel with no power yeah. Yeah. wow and my, you just accepted your fate like, oh, this is fine I, and normal yeah I went to bed too and I woke up and I was like oh my phone didn't even charge <laughs> and then 
guy shows up i've got like the towel going hot water's running like about to have a shower probably break my neck in the tub (laughs) guy's like oh don't you know you need to permit access to electricity in this hotel room with your key card i'm like what listen it's so funny it's so you don't lose your hotel room key because it's always like a credit card you just pop it in the slot that's what they tell you that makes no sense keep their electricity bill lower because it cuts off when they leave yeah Yeah. you can't just leave all your stuff running My hot dog, the rolling machine, just going on. Like, Those are going to be perfect when I get back. <laughs> My slow cooker. Yeah. I'm yeah. curry in it. Yeah. Don't remind me of that curry. It's going to be good, man. Oh, I'm so like excited. Four hours to go. Oof. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. yeah. Except we'll have been snacking for four hours. Yeah, you won't be hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, st- I'll make room for the curry for sure. <laughs> we don't really like, we have like a large East Indian like community in Canada for sure. But like, for some reason, the the food is just not as popular. Like mm. it feels like here, like curry is huge. Yeah. Oh yeah, curry is a massive in, thing in, in the UK. In Canada, it's like butter chicken, is like right. the big thing, and it's. I think that's just like the most like simplest, easiest approach to like the culture, like the mm. food. I'm gonna blow your balls off tonight, man. It's gonna be great. Yeah, <laughs> curry's gonna be good as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say like I hope the curry's good too. <laughs> Was that necessary? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, Look, if people are like an hour at least into this podcast, they're ready for Blow me started. fucking balls off, mate. Very good, well done. You fucking slag. Um So Anyway. Right, just to like absolutely change attitude for a second here. Uh I spent a lot of the Sunday, the second day on the verge of having a little cry because I don't know why but that was a day that a lot of people were telling me some like real personal intense stuff in a lovely way but like people were saying things about how uh, I had helped their mental health and how my videos had you know uh, one guy in particular said uh, that my videos had had brought him back from the verge of suicide Hmm. that affected me quite a lot um and this child the most adorable child uh came up to me and gave me a piece of like a card that he had painted of like an orc war boss on a throne with the midwinter minis logo behind it (laughs) he'd like written a little note saying like dear guy hattie you know aunt uh, uh, Steve, and Simon, Nessa. and Nessa, you're my favorite YouTubers. Good luck at Golden Demon. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I just gave him a big hug and I didn't really know what to say, but that's like the nicest thing anyone's ever given me. Uh, it was really intense. So that was, uh, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> In that exact moment. You're having this super heartfelt moment. Just the camera cuts to me, just (laughs) (laughs) just absolutely dead in a pitch black room. Phone is ringing nonstop. Like, Nav, are you alive? (laughs) Meanwhile, guys having this super heartfelt, like touching moment. (laughs) Um, Yeah, Uh, and we got we got to meet like loads of other uh, like creative. You know, like people who make videos and like other creators and stuff, and and people who run cool Instagram accounts and like people I recognize from pictures that I'd never met, and um, like loads of Patreon supporters as well, and people wearing Middle Earth merch. And I was like, this yeah. is crazy. That's wild. Yeah, it was it was mad. Um, one of the coolest things though, I, uh, on the um, on the Sunday particularly, we spent time looking at the like the cosplay bits uh, and. Uh, like Iron Warrior, uh, the Iron Warrior cosplay guy, he's amazing. Uh, and the Horus Lupacal cosplayer, he was awesome. Uh, and like chatting to them and like saying hi, that was that was really nice, and they were very cool people. Again, I felt like maybe that was something, but well, certainly something that wouldn't have been an experience that like most people would have been able to have because, um, you know, it's it's a case of they had like tables where anyone could kind of come up and see the stuff but it was like yay you know hey no you know you can look but don't touch or like please ask before touching Mm -hmm. um but like it it was crazy because those people were coming up to me saying like yay like grab this and hold this and like we'll take photos and stuff and it was Mm. yeah it was again it was one of those things that like i had a great time but i feel like 
if you had paid for a weekend ticket, that wasn't the experience you had. No. You know, you're kind of walking around looking. Maybe you know you could still meet people that you kind of knew, but. I see walking around looking for your next cue. Yeah, like the Warp <laughs> Forge game, the Bolt Gun game, uh, the the demo games for um, Tenth Edition, all had really long queues, like at least a couple of hours. And you know, it's it's not a theme park. It's you know. Yeah, it's not Disney. <laughs> no, uh, and but the the entry fee is kind of the same. So, uh, yeah, it felt a little bit strange. It felt a little bit strange. And they had this huge venue and like a lot of space that was just completely empty or they just put like a toxic bin out and that was it. Yeah. Well, they did what? You that know, was quite a good scene setting. Had, like, like, oh, the main, the main entrance. Like, the Tyranid, Tyranid bits coming up yeah. around and stuff. Yeah, there were some cool right. things around. The Terminator was cool too. Yeah. But there was nothing like to actually do in like huge amounts of the giant venue that they had. No. no. Well, even, you know, I've talked to a number of people about it, but they could have even just, like, the way that they kind of laid out the design of everything, mm. they could have stretched the Golden Demon so that you could actually observe the models on both sides. Yeah. Yes. Which would free up the queue. Yeah. Like, it was just, it was just very poor planning. Mm. It's mm -hmm. like, you could have just simplified. And there was so much open area, too. I heard from somebody as well who was at the previous Warhammer Fest when it was the ninth edition launch, I think. Yeah. Um, that they had, uh, or no, sorry, the one before that when it was the eighth edition launch because the ninth was during COVID, wasn't it? The eighth edition no, launch it was, before. was it anyway? And they had uh, like uh, thirty tables or something to demonstrate the new version of the game, and obviously the hobby was not nearly as big as it is now. Uh, then, do you know what I mean? And they now have five tables, and some of the tables weren't occupied a lot of the time. I think because they had to split the presenters for different things like hosting some of the painting tutorials was it some of the people who were running the, the learn to play tables also were running other things so they had to have some of the tables dead sometimes that's how I've heard yeah yeah bit of a shame shall we um, open up some millionaire shortbread millionaire shortbread millionaire how could I not bread. I love shortbread millionaire Good. shortbread it looks like there's chocolate on there there's a layer so it's shortbread with a layer of like caramel like hard semi hard caramel and then thick it's, chocolate on top it's almost like a Nanaimo bar mm. one bite of this and you will be the monopoly guy With right no monocle i'm gonna he split has no this monocle. he doesn't have a monocle yeah what's that I the, think the, he does. the peanuts guy the mandela effect from greg's oh from greg from greg's mm. gotta be good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new sponsor mm. <laughs> mm. gets everywhere I love it. That's actually really good. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, <Old> Greg. <laughs> old Greg. Sorry, a big old motorbike just went past when you were saying how beautiful it was. Mm. And now, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Greg. Are you looking for something sweet? <laughs> it is, it is Perhaps Greg. savory? <laughs> <laughs> Pop on over. <laughs> that was really good. It's good, right? Mm. That's great. That was only a third of one of them. Um, and there's four of them. That's very sweet. Mm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of sugar in that caramel or whatever. Do you want we'll me send to you home with one. Yeah, I'll put one in your lunchbox to take on the plane. <laughs> Perfect. Unless you <laughs> die before then. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just um, interject this quick conversation by asking you what you would give a millionaire shortbread out of ten? Out of ten. Wait wow, brum brum. You mind? <laughs> millionaire shortbread. I probably. <laughs> say, someone has a huge dick out there. <laughs> um, millionaire shortbread. I'd probably, I'd probably give it a ten. <laughs> oh, good. Like, yeah, we haven't even opened the yum yum yet. Yeah, I, you've not I, even had a yum yum. I couldn't think of anything wrong with it. Okay, it good. was delicious. It was mm. really good, and I would definitely eat it again. Good. It's a bit Excellent. too much, though, isn't it? Like, you have uh, to, if it, you had a huge one, maybe. Yeah, it's not something you would eat a lot of. No. no. It's too sweet for that. That's one where you get to the end of it and you're like, I can feel like, the oh, diabetes oh. set. Yes. In, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, oh, God. Yeah, my blood sugar is up, up, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's doing great. Yeah, well, um, you can wash it down with some sugar water. Yeah. <laughs> we can get you some real water if you like plain, unsugared water. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, um, let's open up something. Uh, sweet and Canadian while we chat about the uh, incident of the Sunday night. <laughs> yes. yes. Shall we just? What's this thing? 
Mr. Big. Mr. Big. <laughs> what are you, Mr. Big? What's a Mr. Big? Mr. Big is kind of like a. What? That's, that's such already a been crazy... eaten. <laughs> yeah, that's just the half the fun of it. <laughs> is it they just break it off and shove it in the bag? I don't know. I'm not sure why. It looks like it just broke. I mean, sure. I would, shall I break off some bits? What, what's in it? A little bit uh, of caramel, kind of like a. I feel like this a is a sweet. This is a lion bar, right? It's got to be a lion bar. I'm not sure. You got oh, lion bars? It smells bars? nutty. It smells like a Snickers. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. I'm not sure what I was expecting. You were probably expecting like an O. Henry. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, Henry's are just like very nutty bars. It's like a payday. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the audience, some of the audience will know. It's quite nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm stuck to the table. Let's put that away. Um. Mm. Now we'll talk about the incident. I'm gonna give that a seven. That's pretty good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's not. It's, mm. it's growing on me. I'm on like five or six. Okay. The name is ten out of ten. I might though. wash it down with a skip. <laughs> well, you like the name too. Mr. Big. That's hilarious. Yeah. You can chase <laughs> that Mr. Big with Mr. some prawn Big. Chips. <laughs> okay. Um. Sunday night. To preface this, when we turned up on the Saturday. Preface. Um, Preface? Preface. Preface. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Welcome to an hour of us roasting guys' pronunciation of everything. To preface this, when we turned up on the Saturday, um, oh wait, to preface the preface, I emailed the Warhammer community team just out of courtesy uh, before we went up and said, I'd really like to film while I'm there. Is that okay? Or do I need to get like some kind of pass? And like, can I buy it? Or like, how does it work? And um, my contact in the Warhammer community team said, no worries, guy, thanks for asking. Uh, I've, I've added you to the, um, the creator pass list, which so no one will mind if you have cameras. And I was like, outstanding. You're my hero. Thank you so much. So we got given these little creator passes so we could use the camera to film some B-roll for the whatever video we made, which isn't this. We will make a proper video. This is just a casual chat. Um, as we met lots of other content creators throughout the weekend, they noticed, obviously, we had the creator pass, and they are like, well, so we'll see you on Sunday night, right? Because there's this thing happening. And we're like, what's the thing? Um, and they said, oh, it's, you know, so we can uh, try out the things and like get footage without people here. It's, it's after the event closes, so we can, you know, try out the games and try out the, the video games and, you know, get footage, get have a look at the Golden Demon cabinets. And I was like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Outstanding. So I wasn't too worried about actually taking footage while I was there. So we had some food quickly, and then we, we came back to the arena at about 8, 8 p.m. was it? Yep. Mm. Um, and like sort of chatting to all of our, you know, the like other content creators who were there, and you know, like big names, small names, lots of lots of people. And our contact in the community team very discreetly came up to me and said, "You know, I'm really sorry, but this is NDA only. Uh, I don't know how you found out about this." <laughs> <laughs> and basically, we had to leave. People um, talk, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, and I said that, you know, people have told us this was happening, and never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, no offence meant, but it did feel a bit sad, uh, essentially having to turn around and walk back out again. In and shame. All, in shame, yeah, yes. with the, all of the glass windows, so everyone's kind of watching yeah. us walk away. <laughs> and the second that the doors opened for us... So did the heavens. Yeah. It, <laughs> we got very, very wet. Started hooching down. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so we're walking sort away to it. in like torrential rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> While like that everyone's was... inside. Yeah. It's that classic thing like from every a film, sad you know? Scene. Yeah, yeah. The, like the jilted partner looking in through the window, yeah. at, like their friends having fun while they're outside crying in the rain. <laughs> that was perfect, though. Was I could us. literally hear the Charlie Brown piano music. <laughs> 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 
Um, so that was a, a left a slightly sour note. Um, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but... I get it. Hmm. Because they were shown some exclusive things that weren't announced yet. But they were just announced the next day. They were just announced the next day, and it would have been nice to have at least some yeah, honest... warning. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the, I think actually even worse than that, where we were like, right, let's go get drunk. And it took us so long to find anywhere with like spaces to sit and actually mm. have a drink. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't even let us be depressed <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we had that taken from us as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I had like the wind knocked out my sails a bit. We just had like one drink and then went back to the hotel. Yeah, like, we had a very subdued. Total rock stars. <laughs> quiet drink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, like, over-egg the disappointment. I was gutted, mm -hmm. but, like, I shouldn't have assumed, you know? When you assume, you make an ass of you and me. Yeah. Um, but I shouldn't have assumed that we were invited. Uh, it's just that everyone said, hey, we'll see you later, we'll see you later, we'll see you later. It was like, okay. Um, yeah, but no, it doesn't matter. Well, I didn't really understand, like, no. when I went and it was like, oh, well, this is, like, a uh, content creator event. I thought, like... I'm kind of a content creator. Like, yeah, I, man. I have a bit of a following. You've got like 70,000 on Instagram, 150,000 on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, like and... over the last year I've grown quite a bit. And then I heard about, oh, well, you need to be, you need to be an NDA person. Like, oh, how do you become an NDA person? Like, oh, well, they reach out to you. I'm like, oh, is there a contact where I can reach out to them? It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, so yeah. it's. Like a little secret club yeah. of people. I'm like, I don't get it, but I'll be joining Guy in the Rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, before we move on to Sunday, shall we now turn to the Canadian side of the snack? No, we just had a Mr. We Big. did a you Mr. Did. Big. Um, I feel like if you're already quite familiar with Cadbury's chocolate, a flake How might about... be superfluous. What about a mini roll? Or a yum yum. <sighs> I don't want to say the best or last, but maybe. Should we go for yum yum? Okay. What's a yum yum? Let's go. <laughs> yum yum. Let's go. Isn't it the cutest name ever for a snacky right. food? Let's just a pop yum this yum. boy open. Greg. I can hardly yum control yum. myself. I ate 20 yum yums. <laughs> if you ate 20 yum yums, you'd be dead. You'd be very sick. Yeah. <laughs> Near shat myself. <laughs> Make room for all these yum yums. Right. Um. They're huge. Oh, yeah, I mean, man. You said I should bring a knife and I didn't. It's okay, I'll rip a bit off. Here you mm, go. Fingers. It's a bit moist on the bottom, sorry. It's quite large. It smells like donut. Just eat it. <laughs> this is Greg's too? Mm -hmm. Is there anything they can't do? <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Hello, Greg. Something mm. sweet, something savoury. Greg's. <laughs> that would be, be their line. <laughs> You've nailed it. They got them both covered, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm. And everything is flaccid shaped too, or phallic shaped. Oh, so. oh yeah, they've got they've got they've like, got it all. They've got <laughs> vaguely phallic, you know, sweet and savory goods, yeah. nails. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me the sausages, pastry encrusted thing. Yum yum. Right, Greg's is great. <laughs> <laughs> I love Greg's. Welcome to the cult. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to ask if they that's do, a 10? They do do yum Sorry, yums elsewhere. It's a 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Knew it. But that is quite a nice one. Yeah. Do they knock um, the millionaire shortbread off the top spot? In retrospect, I think you should give the shortbread a 9. Um, it's not your choice to make, Guy. It really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got a big following. <laughs> you can't push us small creators around. <laughs> not like this. Um... <laughs> Finally, I have someone to back me up. <laughs> you know what? I'd say they're both quite good. Like, I wouldn't really pick one over the other. It's just kind of it's Different what you're in the mood for, mm -hmm. yeah. If you want something very sweet, you'd go for the million, millionaire? Millionaire, millionaire shortbread. shortbread. Millionaire shortbread. Yeah. Something like that, like, it's pretty sweet, too. But what, it's what, a little lighter. Can I ask, just out of curiosity, what ingredient would you add to the millionaire shortbread to make it a billionaire shortbread? A billionaire shortbread. <laughs> Maybe just gold flakes, sprinkled, gold sprinkles. Amazon work of tears. <laughs> there is a billionaire shortbread. Yeah. They just put like, is that? they like marble the chocolate on top with like. No. Marble yeah, chocolate. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty, yeah. That's Google clever. it. I don't know what it is. White I don't chocolate? know if it's like lighter chocolate oh, okay. or if it's like caramel chocolate. Just or, okay. Yeah. Nice. 
Sorry, what did you say? Ten. Yeah. Yeah, it's, mm, mm. it's good. Pretty, it's there's nothing wrong with. Do you want to maybe describe what it is? Because like just saying it's a yum yum, and then going, oh my god, it's tasty. What yeah. is it? It's just like. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> like, do you have to rev it that many times? Honestly, honestly, it's like a six year old, you know. <laughs> I'd say brum, it's brum, kind of just like a. It's pastry. It's very flaky and soft and doughy, and just covered in like a like almost like a honey glaze or something, mm. an icing kind of. It's, it's very sugar. soft oh, and sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. Thing, yeah. Simple, it's yeah, it's essentially fat and sugar, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is just, why it's so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. It's like a slightly floppy donut, right? Yeah, with a lot of icing on it. Yeah, it's like a donut made of like pastry though. Halfway phallic. between a and phallic. Yeah, excellent delivery system. <laughs> Monday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, get in me. <laughs> Glistening moist. Okay. Yeah. No, that's right. enough. I Here think. we go. Okay, so Monday, Golden Demon Results Day, um, yes. was the day that you and I decided we were actually going to try something, right? Um, he, <laughs> not romantically. <laughs> we, uh, what we, happens in we the hotel out, room? What stays in the hotel one. room? We checked out. We got all our bits together. We all met in the foyer downstairs. We uh, went to the car, put all of our stuff in the car, because we had to check out, obviously. And then we went to Warhammer Fest to the final day. Yes. We... Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> you Amateur mean, hour time. Over here. Uh, we oh, got you. We, <laughs> okay. We went to try to get a nice breakfast because it was like the last day and we were all together with Steve and everything and we were like, right, let's go and have a nice breakfast together and literally everywhere was rammed and the only place we could get into was Starbucks. Um yeah. But we saw, like, the Golden Demon judges in Starbucks yeah. <laughs> drinking, their, drinking their stuff. We didn't want to bother them. Anyway, um, so we had some coffee. We went to the event. We said hi to a few more people. We deci- I noticed that my entry, my Mozrog Scrag Band, had a green sticker on the little um, n- note next to it, which means something. Uh, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we met lots of people, mm-hmm. and then we decided, let's actually do something. Let's try and get a game of 10th edition in, right? Because yeah. it felt a bit quieter on the Monday. It was way more quiet. Mm-hmm. You could tell, like, half the people have left. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. most people had got fed up by that point and <laughs> gone It's home. also just a Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's a bank holiday Monday. Like, three days is a long old time, mm-hmm. and especially yeah. on a bank holiday, like, that's your only three days off. For... Oh, before, we, yeah. before we did that, though, we went to the cosplay area We again, got to try on some costumes. And we had a real good time. It was amazing. That was the my... cosplay people were, like, getting... Uh, well, because yeah. they were about to pack up as well, so they were just getting in last orders, yeah, essentially. That was my absolute highlight of the day. It was so fun. Mm. You got to wear the wings. <laughs> I got to wear the huge wings and hold a cool sword that and had roses, flowers on it. Yeah. And I got to try on the big, was it a badden? It was uh, pants. Horus. Horus. It was Horus's I, I put on trousers. Horus's trouser pants. <laughs> His trousers. And and did his little trousers, which look a lot like the his wrong trousers, trousers from... Yeah, his from power trousers. Power waist. <laughs> they look yeah. a lot like the, the wrong trousers from that Ardman film. Uh, <laughs> so naturally I had to get in them and do the... Jeez! Uh, <laughs> which was... Um, top ten moments in life. <laughs> yeah. I got to wear the um, the big like Terminator plate top, uh, which is good fun. Again, these are things that I don't think... Uh, you know, a normal event goer would have been able to do. They're Not a fantastic experience. Mm. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, so it was fun. essentially because you know the people who did the stuff knew who we were and they invited us to do it, and that's an incredible experience to have. Yeah, super grateful for really it. Really but... cool. Uh, I did feel a bit guilty because other people yeah. weren't able to do it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. The... It didn't stop me from screaming out like the galaxy burn. When yeah. I had it. yeah, that was good fun. <clears throat> yeah. Had you scared a child? Did you know that? Did I? Yeah, there was a child standing, like, really close to your right, and they were like, oh! Oh, no! <laughs> when you did it. That I am real loud, yeah, to be fair. It was very loud. Um, so, we stayed in the queue, right? We got in the 40k play demo, queue. Yes. The demo queue, yeah. And we... we s- two and a half hours? Yeah, it was two and a half hours. Yeah. I did not yeah. get in the queue. <laughs> I went and did anything else. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually... That was one thing that the the creator pass did allow you to do, right? Because when we actually got to the front of the queue and we were playing, 
um, you were chatting to the person at the side and they were like, oh, do you want to get in and film? And yeah, like, we yep. asked if we could hop in and just film some of the like stuff on the table and they were like, yeah, absolutely, just let us in, which was yeah, very which, handy. Yeah. It meant that uh, Steve and I didn't need to just stand around for two and a half hours. Yes. Yeah. Check your privilege. Your privilege. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will say that we we waited for day three to line up for that event because we knew it would be more quiet. We knew a lot of people would go home. Mm. We got into the line and it was still a two and a half hour wait, yeah. which was a nightmare to begin with. But on day one, that line was maybe five times the length of what we saw. Oh yeah, I think if you- Oh, it was stretching like all yeah. the way down the hall. Yeah. yeah. And the, the first sign that you find is uh, at this point, you have a three hour wait and that was the start of the roped section of the line so i can't even imagine being all the way at the back no. yeah you know waiting for two hours then eventually hitting a three hour sign yeah mm -hmm. I'd leave. <laughs> yeah, I would just no. pack up yeah. and go home yeah. at that point. And then you, you find out you're in the Warhammer store line by accident. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, if you're going up like Big Thunder Mountain, you know, maybe you'd stick around, but like. Yeah. Not to, for five hours. To play one round of 40k maybe 10th one. edition. Maybe not so much. I have to say, yeah. too, like, the fact that I went to Adepticon, you know, a few months before Warhammer yes. Fest, I. I like going into this event, I kind of put them on the same tier. I assumed they would be on the same scale mm. as far as like the number of people in attendance, kind of like the, uh, uh, they're both golden demon events. Yes. Um, big deal events, right? Mm. I was very surprised by the difference of the event. Like for Adepticon, there were no lines for anything. Yeah. Wow. There was just so much stuff to do that if you couldn't do something here, there was no chance you were going to get into a line. <laughs> it's ring, 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 ring. I think it's the same guy. <laughs> yeah. He's just doing laps. Yeah, probably. But if you were going to, like, there was just so much stuff to do at Adepticon that if you couldn't do something, you would immediately just go do something else because there was just... You were almost worried, like, I don't know if I'm, three days is going to be enough mm. to get everything done, to cross everything off the list. Yeah. But here it's like... Well, I haven't lined up for the store yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah. Might as well. I don't really want <laughs> to do that Nothing else to line up for. <laughs> Forgive my ignorance. Adapt is Adapticon organized at all by Games Workshop, or is it? I don't believe so. No. no. I think they organize I don't think they their part of it. But they obviously. attend? Yes. Yeah, they, they do... Uh... They send teams out. Okay, like the yeah. events yeah, team. Yeah, I guess you would know better. Often, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they send out uh, a but few But you never teams. went? No. No. I was never allowed to. Oh, this happened. But they also I have. To. to be fair, though, Adepticon. <laughs> I mean, they have all of the vendors. They have a whole bunch of like side games, kind of custom games that you can play. Just a ton of different businesses and shops and stuff yeah. to like you know check out like all of the uh, third party like bit companies and stuff like that too. So you know the whole battle tech line and whatnot. Mm. I feel like something like that would make Warhammer Fest better. 100%. Obviously, they wouldn't just more stuff do it yeah. because but why wouldn't they? Because the the cosplay people aren't part of Games Workshop. They're but like it's still sanctioned Warhammer by IP. Them. Sure, it's Warhammer IP. Are there no like adjacent things that aren't necessarily like dice manufacturers? It's all to be within Warhammer IP. Oh, they make sure. their own dice, don't they? Yeah, they certainly sell their own dice. So yeah, yeah. I don't see why hmm. if they're going for purely Warhammer. Tricky. They've got to do everything, yeah. I, I just which is like, where they've really fallen down, I think. Well, they, they have the option to invite in all of these other brands that, I mean, if you buy Games Workshop stuff, you're probably going to buy this other stuff. Yep. It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> the massive tank roll. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not like denying them access to your event is all of a sudden going to deny all these sales and boost your yep. profits. Like, yes. Yeah. They have a decision to bring in all of these companies to make the event better for the attendees, mm -hmm. but they choose not to, and that's that's where I was kind of disappointed. And you know, even even just the logistics of like, okay, we're going to have a demo for tenth edition, yeah, but we're only going to set up five tables, yeah, for thousands of people. It's yeah. like, well, 
thousands. Really, it was <laughs> literally was thousands. A lot of yeah, left. that was bad planning. Yeah, like, that, yeah. <laughs> that's going to take forever. Yeah. So mm. yeah. And there were people queuing up for like two or three hours to see the cabinets, which mm. other people were just scooting around the side to look at. Yeah, there's... I didn't realize there was a queue. Yeah. I was just like poking my head in. Yeah. I'd walk around. Because you see everyone else doing it, so you're like, that yeah. just must be. What I did not on. know there was a queue yeah. for it until you'd, after. You'd maybe assume that if they didn't want people coming out it from the side they would put a barrier up mm. to kind of funnel people around to make a queue, yeah. an orderly queue mm -hmm. before you came to the uk you didn't use the word queue much right no you just like, get in line <laughs> get in line get in line yeah, yeah, yeah. Line we're, we're all about to, the queue welcome, to, queue. welcome to the queue welcome to the queue <laughs> last you got your yum yum <laughs> you got a touch of the queue flu huh eh? <laughs> <laughs> <You> fucking wanker <laughs> Beautiful. That's very uh, legit. Well done. Yeah, thank you. You're picking it up real fast. Thank you. Um, Bit of scrand. I can do Canadian as well, you know. Can hey, you? Hey. Sorry. <laughs> Just because South Park did it, right? I, I've, I went to a wedding in Colorado, and my wife and I were there, and we're like, oh, yeah, we're Canadian. Like, it came up in conversation, then everyone's like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like, I haven't apologized once. <laughs> I'm not going to. What's happening? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Mm. You do say A like all the time. You do. We've caught you out a few times. Yeah, I know. Uh, I do. Like, Canadianism. <laughs> but it's not how you. Funny. <laughs> it's not how you like. They portray it, right? It's like me saying well, hey. Well, no, but like how English accents are portrayed as like. Right, Gav, no, you want a bottle of water? <laughs> you mean how I always do? Yes, <laughs> exactly. You fucking slut. <laughs> so in the, uh, at the end of the day on the Monday, we were all very tired. Uh, Extremely. Standing. Really flagging. Kind of just standing around, but not even just standing. We were doing a lot of standing in place, not walking around, which kind of like gets your blood going a bit. We were just standing, which is actually quite hard to do. Standing and talking. We left the, the 40k learn to play thing, mm -hmm. and then we went to... You had to the, go straight I had to, to go straight to pick up my Golden Demon piece, my entry. Which you got a pin, I don't think you even said. Which I was informed had received a finalist pin. <laughs> Uh, so now I'm going to change all my bios to say Golden Demon finalist. Yeah. Don't Just do that. Get ready for that. No. Um, I don't think there's a lot of content creators who are Golden Demon finalists, which is bizarre because I'm like one of the least talented people out of the bunch, <laughs> and yet here I am. Anyway, I'm come in next year and win a gold. Yeah, yeah. To show you up. Yeah, please do, please. <laughs> so. While we talk about the Golden Demon uh, Awards ceremony, let's pop open the Crispy Crunch. Another Cadbury, though. Oddly. Cadbury Crispy Crunch. I didn't even know that Cadbury was in Canada. Now you've got all these strange new things that we don't have. Yeah. This is this is my paper. childhood favorite one. It's I love paper. this one. Does this snap or does this like... It snaps. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with the name Crispy Crunch, I would hope it would snap. <laughs> Not flop. Snap, crackle, and pop. Oh, that's firm. Yes, sir. Okay, That's shotgun not having any of that. That's shameful. Is that honeycomb? I'm sorry. <laughs> nope, it should be uh, another bit. Actually, I have no idea what's in this. It looks like <laughs> honeycomb. That's huge. Have you ever seen anyone just absolutely chuck a bit of chocolate on the floor? Oh, it smells very nutty. That's what she said. Right. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm over here like, mmm. Oh, yeah. It's very nutty. That's my worst nightmare. You don't like nutty? No, I don't let stuff stick into my teeth. Oh. Oh. But caramel. How is that sticking to your teeth? Because they're crunchy bit. You get stuck in your molars. Mmm. Mmm. Let's just save some flavor for later. <laughs> Take it with you. A little snack. <laughs> On, the the <laughs> On the tube. On the tube. On a 38 year old man with no fillings. Like, I can't. Ah, uh, no. Can't relate. I can't. Me fillings. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not like. I feel like I want mm. to pick my teeth for the next five hours to get rid of that. What about if you ignored the texture? The taste is alright, maybe like a four. Okay. Well, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Guys. I mean, I, I can see if, if it's tasty, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'd like, give it I'm, like a five. That kind of stuff okay. traumatizes me. Okay. Sorry. That's my childhood. I've still got a whole I'm half sorry. to go. <laughs> Spitting on it. Let's, like it. let's try something nice instead. Um, and then. I've not done this one yet. Peanut free facility. Oh, this is a really good one. Do you, well, wait, coffee crisp. Yes. Or is that like toffee crisp? It's a bit of a coffee flavor, but not too much. It's very subtle. 
Oh, what a cute little bar. Yeah, they're cute. So little. So, golden demon ceremony. Um, everyone with pins or commended entries, mm -hmm. which is essentially you're like, I don't want to say the real finalists, but you're the people who are in the running to win a, a gold, silver or bronze golden demon, were invited to come into the auditorium and everyone else was to sort of queue in a different place. That was the, the theory and it was going to start at four o'clock. So everyone kind of got there, assuming it would, you know, be relatively prompt. Uh, because I think the venue was closing at like five or something, so. And like, we got in there at like half three to queue. Yeah, we started. We started queuing up at like half three, and it was already like the queue was already full. We were right. Maybe at the it was back. three actually. We were right at the back of the queue. Yeah, I didn't have my box or anything, so I was just holding my entry like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and yeah, I put my pin on. Obviously, I was like well proud. I think we assumed <laughs> we were just going to go right in. Yeah. <laughs> so we were waiting and waiting and waiting, and. Uh, 50 minutes went by <laughs> we had a couple of updates from the staff saying it's going to be 10 more minutes and we're like okay and then it was, it's going to be another 10 minutes and it's like okay and then they started sort of funneling us in commended entries were uh, invited to go down the front of the auditorium and people with pins right to the back i don't think they knew how many people were waiting up in the queue which maybe is a bit of miscommunication also they could have counted they could have had someone with a clicker in the queue, yeah, yeah, to know uh, what the capacity was. So everyone with a pin, basically someone who'd done exceptionally well in the Golden Demon, enough to get a pin, was put right at the back of the auditorium. The people who were essentially the, the finalists were put right at the front. And then they started filling up the auditorium with, like, general admission from the front. So <laughs> the people who had entered Golden Demon and done pretty well were, like, had the worst seats in the house which is a bit of a shame. Um, let me try this. Yeah. Oh, that's great. You like this? That's like a blue ribbon, right? No, those are yucky. This is nice. It's a bit crunchier than a blue ribbon, but it's good. Do you like mm. coffee flavor? Or it's kind of, it's very subtle. I can coffee. smell it's the good. coffee more than I can taste it. Yeah, it's very subtle. Mm. That's really nice. Good. Mm. Mm. Uh, eight. Oh, very yeah. nice. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Eight and a half. That would be good to dip in a coffee, actually. Mm. It would, it yeah. is, Ooh, it yeah. is. It's very or, good. Do the old majestic bite each end off and then suck the coffee through it. Have you ever done that? <laughs> yeah, the no, little, the old, the old, the old, wafer, the old wafer slap. Well, I've done that with the like the cinnamon straws. You remember those? Mm. Not not yeah, literal no, cinnamon. Straw. It's like a cookie straw. It's a cookie tube, tube, cookie tube. Tube. Cookie Thanks. Tube. Now I understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> tube. Um, I will tube. say, for lining up for like the golden demon, um, because I'm not an elite finalist, I could not line up where you were. No. But I lined up for the regular like auditorium entry, mm -hmm. and I think I stood there for about maybe a half hour before my back was just like killing me. I just can't stand still. For, I can walk for a long time, but I can't stand still. Mm. So I went and just kind of like, I think I got a tea and just sat down and lazed around for a bit. And did then you I, play bolt gun? And a Cornish I did. I, I actually, I tried bolt gun for a little bit, and then I, I painted a model while I was there as well. <laughs> while we were sitting in the queue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I painted a full space marine, <laughs> and I played bolt gun while you guys were in the queue. And then you got yourself a Cornish pasty, right? Yeah, I got a Cornish pasty yeah. as well. <laughs> what would you have given it out of ten? Just out of interest. I liked it. I, I they'd probably give it a seven. Like it was like it but was. I don't think that was your best kind of Cornish pasty you could have got, but but it that's was good. Yeah, I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, but after the whole line went into the auditorium and I saw that everything was cleared out, I just got up and I walked over to the auditorium, and it wasn't full, so I could just go in and I could essentially sit anywhere I wanted to. So the there was no need to line up. Yeah. Was, you had, to, there was like, they were forcing you to sit in another queue yeah, for plus, an hour. Plus <laughs> I, it felt like when we got in the queue, no one was even in the auditorium, right? No. And then like eventually some people went in and then there was just no communication. And then half an hour later, someone came out and said, right, we just need 10 minutes to sort it out. Mm. Like, why didn't you sort this out yeah, in had. the full three days that you had at this venue? <laughs> well, that's well, four a... days, right? Because mm. they'd had sure. set-up set up day, at least. Yeah. Just could have been better organised again. Yeah. The awards ceremony was fine. I think uh, a lot of people had an issue. Um, I know Steve certainly had an issue because Steve's a very reserved 
normal person. He uh, he's quite quiet, not introverted, but like he doesn't he doesn't he's not big and showy. He doesn't like making a fuss. Doesn't he, love a huge amount of attention. He's always incredibly embarrassed when I tell people he's an amazing painter and yeah. he's won a golden demon. He like Which hides. He, is, he and like he has, crunches but... in on himself. A different thing that they did this year was they got all of the finalists on stage who were in the running for each uh, prize for each golden demon and then they kind of announced them on stage really quickly one after the other um, almost even before the applause of the previous person had died down yeah I think you they couldn't were, hear a they, lot of the names no they were trying to get people out of the thing by five so um, it was <laughs> we need to bring him in for like our edits yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. this has to be um, so I feel like maybe a lot of people were a bit uncomfortable with that but it is what it is. That happens in a lot of other fields as well, so, you know, whatever. There were some insanely, amazingly painted things. I didn't get really a chance to look around the cabinets properly to even see a lot of the things I wanted to see. But, you know, that's that's probably more my fault than anything else, because I didn't keep. But, you know. Yeah, the quality of the painting was, like... Outstanding. Stunning, mm. as it always is with mm. Golden Demon, but yeah. Beautiful. One thing we did notice that we remarked to each other while everyone was going up is that um, while we did notice and we did meet a lot of amazingly talented female finalist people with pins, nobody on stage, that everyone was a man. Which is a thing. Is that because... I mean, they're judged anon on an anonymously, right? Yeah. But because Golden they're judged anonymously, judged anonymously... Can you infer from that that men are just better painters? <laughs> Or is it? <laughs> Wait a second, I, I haven't finished. Don't think that that's the case. <laughs> or is it that proportionately there are far fewer women entering, and because that's there was what only I think it is. yeah, because there was only like thirty or forty yeah. people who actually went up on stage. Yeah, ladies, it, we need you next time. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> please don't get like, lo loads of us. Let's just flood it. <laughs> yeah. Please don't soundbite me and say like, guys, says women aren't good painters. <laughs> um, I mean, you did just say. <laughs> No, I said that's one potential answer. It's obviously not the correct that's one. That's a very sexist answer. Yeah. I mean, actually, what I heard from a lot of people, <laughs> interesting chats I had with people who like came up to me and talked to me, uh, were a lot of people saying, like, oh, you know, they're with their partners, and they would say, like, oh, you know, it's, it's I'm obviously in the hobby, and I'm, I'm doing the thing, I paint and play. But, you know, I've tried to get my girlfriend involved, and she's amazing, and she paints so much better than I do, but, you know, she's not interested in doing it. <laughs> like, well... Which is fine, <laughs> but there are plenty of female hobbyists who are absolutely incredible painters yeah but i don't know if a lot of us just aren't entering i mean i didn't actually do a serious entry yeah if you'll call it that yeah. i didn't do something that i'd specifically painted to be high quality you know i entered mine just because i thought it would be funny to see it in the cabinet but i mean obviously we know how that went it's not like a topic that really i think that's probably like deserves its own discussion because it's that could go real deep it's just an interesting thing to note that there were like no female stage finalists. Yeah, you know? it's a bit of a shame. But... It's a bit of a shame. I don't know if there ever has been. Oh, you just bonked me, baby. You got bonked, baby. Bonked. Um, yeah, I don't know if there ever has been. I've only been to two of them. Not but there sure. weren't any of the ones I went to. And then we went home, pretty much, straight away, right? We got a... Yeah, we yeah. left immediately after the ceremony, pretty much. We should say, though, like, because, you know, obviously we had a very different experience from the average person going to this event. We pretty much had something to do the entire time. Oh, yeah. yeah. People were always yeah. socializing, coming up and chatting. Mm -hmm. We had fun. Yeah. Yes. But we could have met all of those people at a pub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Warhammer Fest, our experience is going to be drastically different than the average person. Absolutely. Yeah. So our opinion is whether I wouldn't say it's worthless, but it is going to be different than like the vast majority. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a great experience. I'm a little bit negative towards it. Even with all of the planning and the organization being not ideal, I think that the staff deserve some credit for, you know, hosting an event like that. It's not easy. Oh, absolutely it's, not. It's nonstop, I'm sure. Mm. So, and they're tired. And they're probably equally frustrated with some of the issues that they had too, right? This is having this a really <laughs> intense dream this right now. Going... a really intense dream. Just like running. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I think that I think that they deserve some credit for putting oh, yeah. hosting a show like that. Absolutely. Yeah. From someone who's like been I've been to a lot of events. I've been to a lot of industry events as well. Mm. Um like for one for example was Nam, the in Anaheim in California. I demonstrated at that. I did synth demos and chatted to people when I wasn't in this field. That is meticulously organized. It's been going for a long time to be fair. 
but it's packed with things to do. The first day is like a trade only day where famous musicians and random like influencers and, and companies and their representatives go and check out all the new equipment and instruments and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the next three days or two, two or three days are like the public days that you can buy tickets for. And it's mobbed, and everyone has something to do. Like you, there are constant things going on, even though there are rival companies there. You know, like rival guitar companies, rival synth companies, rival tech companies. They're trying to show how good their stuff is, and their confidence in like showing how good their stuff is <laughs> makes them put on a great show. You know, there's that kind of like the the rivalry is almost like a camaraderie because everyone's there trying to do the best they can. And I think maybe that's that's really what Games Workshop need is like someone to like compete against them and, and kind of push them and make them be better and I think Adepticon is one of those things that from what you're saying about it maybe we need like an Adepticon UK Adepticon yeah. is wild yeah. like it is insane I'm yeah. so glad that that was my first experience because I want to go to it if I went, Great. if I started with Warhammer Fest I would be very apprehensive to going yep. to Adepticon mm. but yep. yeah Adepticon I'll definitely go every year I think think that this is probably my last Warhammer Fest for now. First and last. <laughs> for now. <laughs> maybe the, but maybe they'll learn from it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, they're just they're so different. So, yeah. so different. I but. feel like I've been to a couple of events and that are Warhammer adjacent or mm. include some sort of Warhammer stuff. And I just feel like the exclusivity that Warhammer Fest has from being only specifically Games Workshop products and run entirely by Games Workshop, that's its downfall really, mm -hmm. because they have no other things to fall back on if they don't organise it perfectly and there's no other vendors for anyone to go to, so it's only their stuff and there's only one exclusive thing that they can buy, you know, it's not yep. there's nothing really that's I think it would be cool interesting if... or new. Yeah, I think that if you're going to have a lineup for the shop at these special events, then you know you should have the new Terminators for sale there. Mm. Yeah, like that would sh all line up. You know, <clears throat> yeah, 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 it's that special model that you know you can get early. Yeah, before anyone else, or maybe it's something incredibly unique. But I did just... actually get a special model. I got a unique model. Did you see? No, that guy gave me the um, the 3D printed. Oh yeah, Tyranid <laughs> that he made. Uh, that, that's not coming from. It's not. Uh, no, it's not. From Game it's not legit though. either. But it looked yeah. great. <laughs> the, the lawsuit will come from. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If Golden Demon wasn't there, then most people would have left after like a few hours, right? Yeah, yeah. Day three would have been a wash. Yeah, yeah no one would no. have been there. I should, wouldn't have been there. <laughs> should we talk about the content creators lounge? <laughs> oh, that was a bit awkward because, like, one of the the things that we got access to with the creator pass, uh, kind of the only thing we got access to, <laughs> turns out, was a, a, the content creator room. How do you describe it? A conference room at the back of the venue, mm -hmm. like quite hard to find, where there were some tables, and that was kind of it. There wasn't really yeah. anything in there. Yeah, four tables. No. I was hoping for some comfy chairs to like yeah. rest, you know, because you're you're on your feet for so long, like talking to people and like taking photos with yeah. people, and mm -hmm. I kind of wanted just like, especially with me, like I, obviously I was struggling with some anxiety issues, but I was hoping for like a nice, comfortable room just to take a breather, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was essentially like a picture like the worst job you've ever had and imagine that break room <laughs> <laughs> except that break room has a vending machine <laughs> yeah yeah there was literally yeah, nothing in this didn't. room <laughs> it felt like you were hidden the kind of weirdest yeah. part though was there was like no one on the door checking to see the people going in and out were like had the badge or anything so yeah. I, yeah. Di I didn't feel really safe putting my carry case or, or like any of my bags or anything in there so i just carried everything with me and <laughs> like ruined yeah. my shoulder the whole time yeah. well they they told us they're like well you know you have this special room because you can charge all of your like recording equipment but it's like well there's no one at the door and anyone can yeah. just walk in like no one's guarding this at all like yeah they steal thousands of dollars worth of recording equipment yeah and yeah be screwed right awkward that being said let's have a mini roll i need to finish my <laughs> yeah, coffee right, thing cheers. do you want a whole one or do you want to go half these have these sure we've had a lot of snacks i mean maybe we could <laughs> Let's just... If I spoil my curry, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. You already know what it's like. I'm having there my, yeah, I'm having my coffee crisp still. I'm going to have a bit of mini roll to join in the fun. This Cadbury? Mm hmm It's very soft. Mm -hmm. It, like, almost melted in my mouth. Yeah. Mm hmm I like it. It's yeah. light. It's not too sweet. No. Yeah. It's, it's kind of inoffensive, though, isn't it? It hasn't got... It's not very punchy. It's just no. kind of like... It's a very simple 
Mm. I'd give it like a six. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I should have got that would have been better than that? Fingers. Chocolate fingers. Capri <laughs> fingers. You, yeah. I like how we're like, oh, we'll try all these unique snacks from across the pond and they're all Capri. All Capri. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fingers. Oh, ma- no. His Majesty's coronation is coming <laughs> So we should have a moment of Mr. silence Mr. Sausage that. Fingers oh, himself. Oh, my goodness. We can't put that in the podcast. <laughs> furious. I think the important thing, though, is that ultimately, like, I had a really good time. The best part was meeting all of you guys, Absolutely. getting to, you know, even meeting my heroes. Like I got to meet lots of painters and, you know, Instagram painters that I've been following for the last two years. And I yeah. finally got to nervously go up to them and be like, hi, <laughs> <laughs> can I talk to you for a second? And that for me was the best part was just mm-hmm. the community, the socializing, everything outside of that, like whether it's 10th edition or, you know, bolt gun, trying that out, that's all secondary. For me, it was, you know, getting to socialize and just hang out. Mm. Like, yeah. that's that that almost makes it worth it, right? Mm. Absolutely. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Maverick. Peace off. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure having you. It's been great being here, man. It's a, mm. it's a huge culture shock. <laughs> but, uh, Greg's. Greg's is the big takeaway, right? Greg's. You know, Greg's made me feel home again, though. <laughs> you know, it, it has that effect on you. It really pulls you in. It makes you family. <laughs> yeah, you're one of us it now. It puts its phallic <laughs> food in your mouth, and okay. you're just like... <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. You know, <laughs> this is home, love. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll edit that out. <laughs> yeah. But thank you so much for having me. Also, it's been Thanks a pleasure. Coming. It feels like a Make a Wish Foundation, like <laughs> dream come true. Here. I mean, you might be. Am, I, am I going to die? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just waiting yeah. for Iron Man to come in. We've just like, done it You're the doing other way great, around. kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I was like, I knew there was a reason I didn't win the Golden Demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we'll put you in the cabinet, buddy. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Well, thank you if you've stuck with us this long. I uh, hope you've been entertained. Maybe you've got some painting done while you've been listening to us, like, mouthing on all of these hope sweets. So, yeah. um, I hope our mouth noises weren't too upsetting. Or maybe you enjoyed them. <laughs> Do you want one more real quick anecdote What's um, that? before we leave? Sure. My most bizarre experience of the whole fest was um, a gentleman came up to me and was like, hey, man, my wife really loves your videos. And I was like, okay, cool don't you <laughs> and he was like yeah yeah i mean we both watch them in bed before we go to bed and like while we sleep and i was like okay and he's like come over here sweetie and she comes over and she is heavily pregnant and i'm like <laughs> is was that did that happen while you were watching people, oh. people fall asleep to luton people yeah. fuck to midwinter minis <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay uh, bye <laughs> bye